Hi guys, Dane here, and today I'm going to be doing the second tome around tag. So this was created by the Hungry Bookworm. For some reason I've got her down in my file as Hungry Bookworm, so I'm going to change that. And I was tagged to do this by Cats and Camera, so there are nine questions. And, well, one of them's optional and we're not going to do it. So there are eight questions, and let's go. So question one, do you buy secondhand books? Yes, I would say about 80% of the books I buy are secondhand. I get a lot from charity shops. But also, if I'm shopping online, I will, if the second-hand version is cheaper, I will generally get that because I have no problem with second-hand books. So, um, yeah, I mean, they generally work out cheaper than buying new books. So I, I buy second-hand where I can. Plus, it's better for the environment. Question two, what is slash was your latest purchase? Mine is actually, it was a little tiny reference book. It was a pocket painter's book for Cezanne the French artist and it had basically got a little bit of a biography about him and then 20 of his different paintings and it kind of shared some quotes that Suzanne had made about his work, some background information on each of these paintings. All in all it was pretty uh, pretty interesting. Question number three, what condition do you find acceptable i.e. tatty or not tatty etc. I don't mind too much as long as pages aren't missing or there isn't a misprint because that's kind of a bummer. That happened with my copy of American Gods for some reason. Like, there was a misprint at the end, so it was missing the last five pages, and instead it just repeated the first ten pages, including, like, the credits page and all this stuff. It was very strange. Um, but I don't tend to mind. I don't mind if people have, like, written in their copies and that kind of stuff as well. I can generally just read around that. So, yeah, as long as it's all legible and I can still get the kind of the full value of the written book from it, I'm not too bothered. Question number four, after you have read said book, do you keep it for a reread or re-donate it? I am a bit of a hoarder, so I keep all of the books that I've read. Uh, they're all in like alphabetical order, there's about 1400 of them. There is a lot. Um, yeah, so no, I don't re-donate them, I keep them. Question number five, do you have a favourite place you like to go to when looking for secondhand books? I mean charity shops. So that's one of my favourite things to actually do in any new town that I visit or any new place that I go. If they have a charity shop or, I mean in the UK there are normally like at least half a dozen in any town. So I tend to go around them all. Like I go around the ones in Wickham every now and then. Uh, when I visit my mum in Tamworth I tend to go around the charity shops in Tamworth. So yeah, charity shops I guess. Question number six, hardback or paperback? Do you have a preference? I generally prefer to read paperbacks because they're more comfortable. I don't really have a preference either way for the way they look or the aesthetics or anything like that. So for me, it's a purely functional thing. And yeah, paperbacks are a lot easier to, to read. I mean, with hardbacks, I always end up taking them out of the, the cover anyway. And it's uh, and like, have you ever dropped a hardback on your face? It hurts. Question number seven. Have you found any real gems? I mean, I guess yes and no. I ended up with a signed Benjamin Zephaniah book, which was quite cool. Which the uh, That was actually from the book barge. Uh, a lady who's bought a barge and converted it into a bookshop. Last I heard, it's actually in France, and you can rent it like Airbnb. But, um, yeah, she used to have that as a bookshop, and I went in and bought a bunch of stuff. And this one Benjamin Zephaniah book was from, like, the bargain bucket, and she just let me have it for free. So that was quite nice. I mean, yeah, every now and then I find, like, there was one Folio Society book I found in Marlowe for about, I think I paid £2.50, £3 for it, and then sold it on eBay for £35. So that was also pretty good. Okay, question number eight. This is the optional one. Find a book from your shelves that you can donate to a good cause or your local charity shop. Uh, I'm not going to do that because I unhaul my books as and when I go. So there aren't any books that I own that I don't want to read. And question number nine. Go ahead and tag some people. All right. I'm going to go into my comments. And we'll see who has recently commented on my videos. Okay, so I'm going to tag Alex Black. Wolfshot Publishing, if he fancies doing it, I don't know if he does tags. Brad Proctor, Charles Heathcote, Lost in a Bookcase. We we'll do Todd the Librarian as well, as always. Alan Morton as well. Um, Stacy Stories, Jason's Weird Reads, and one more. Joel Swagman. So there we go. That was another pretty quick tag. I'm getting good at doing tags quite quickly. I mean, if you want any further qualification on any of these answers let me know in the comments as always thanks a lot for watching don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video hit subscribe for more and i will see you soon for another bookish video thanks a lot Bye bye